So we want to talk about workshops today because I think I want to, we can sort of dispel some myths about workshops, especially at that kind of C-suite level where they're often seen as being, well, just, you know, a little bit, a bit shit really. You know, at that level, it's like, you know, a group of people in a conference room somewhere all chatting with with a whiteboard. There's no sort of, you know, there's nothing, no life to it. Do do workshops have to be at that level? Do they have to be bad? I mean, what does a good workshop at that sort of C-suite level look like? Yeah, I mean, I think the, the the main reasons that workshops don't work, I mean, there's lots of reasons why they don't work, but I would say that if they don't, if they're not working at that level, it's because people have a, uh, the wrong perception of, of what a workshop is. A workshop isn't just about getting everyone in a room and having some post-it notes and a whiteboard and like everyone speaking and, you know, it being a little bit less or be actually completely unstructured conversation which might be the opposite of what you might think of a a formal meeting Um, a workshop is a space where you do need to design that process you do need to be really specific you need to know um you know what you want to achieve um who are the right people to be in that room what are the questions and areas that you want to explore together and you know what's the final result that you're looking for and then you need to think about all of the different dynamics that might happen in that workshop and design designed for that. Um, so yeah, I think when workshops don't work is when people have this misconception that it's just about like let's all get into a room together and have a let's kind crush of it out. Fun yeah. created blue sky. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, I've, it's interesting because I've just recently um written an article about offsites, um, which are obviously, you know, very um popular within mm. the kind of management calendar, strategic planning calendar. And I think recently they've been democratized a lot more probably because of remote working and the need to get teams together at various times throughout the year to, you know, spend time together. But historically they have been, offsites have been this um, format for management teams to get together and talk about the future of the organization. And the first article that I came across around um, offsites was I think from oh gosh I think it was 2006 um it's an article in Harvard Business Business Review called um offsites that work 